Hello, my name is Matthew from Lesson Space. I'm excited to share some updates. If you got our email, you would have got a little bit more information, some of our key KPIs that we'd like to share with our customers. But this is just an overview of, of, of what we're doing and what are the news things that have been released in the last month or two with Lesson Space. The first thing that we've seen a crazy uptake in is the resource drawer. Um, and this is really down to the idea that you can now upload your own resource into your personal folder. So if you don't know what the resource drawer is, I can go onto the resource drawer and I can add my own information. So for example, I'm going to add this um, trig cheat sheet that I've used and I've got over the internet for my personal work. And I'm going to maybe edit this resource that I've made. I'm going to add a hub of news adjacent. Maybe I'm even going to add my own graph. Um, sign 2x I want to talk to my student about. Um, something to do with, with that. And I'm going to insert that into our graph. I'm just going to keep it on the side there for, for our, our discussion. Maybe also I want to add something else. Maybe I'm going to, on the whiteboard, over here I'm going to maybe draw our own sign graph. Or maybe, you know, even better, I'm going to use the resource draw again in the math tool to read, uh, or at least go for some more trig and see what we can add there. There's special triangles, always useful to have a trig. And we're going to leave that example over here. Okay, so we've got this now. We've set this up. Maybe this is my sign graph for my student that I'm going to ask them about. And this is useful. I've made this lesson now. I've made this content. Now, I don't want to keep remaking these things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to export this as a zip. So I'm exporting this out. And what I'm going to then do is I'm going to actually import the zip back into my, into my folder. So this is downloading at the moment. And I'm going to now um, go into my resource drawer. And now I can go to my personal folder. I'm also an admin of an organization, so I can upload into an organization folder. But for most of the teachers, here we are, and I'm going to import the zip. I'm going to call it trick uh, lesson one. Um, you can imagine this is really powerful when you've created a whole bunch of lessons on maybe 10 lessons on English as a second language or trick. And you can see here, here, uh, oh, sorry, I've just uploaded it. And now I come back into another week. I'm here in a new lesson. And I want to go through that again. And there it is, trick lesson one. I just open it, and I'll have exactly what I left there in a way that is always useful. The student can always see it. They can go exactly what I edited, and you can go and quickly resource, uh, quickly grab your own lesson uh, content without needing to remake it every time. So that's been really cool. We've also updated some uh, cool things on when there's big classes of students. So you can see that you can now double click the sidebar mode, and that double clicking on the sidebar mode will make it a lot more easy for everyone to hang out. I'm showing a little demo on the side here. Uh, we've also added GraphQL. GraphQL is really cool in the sense that it makes things a lot faster. It's just a way of querying databases. Um, and this is going to be something that should, you maybe have noticed, um, just your, your, your requests are going to be a lot quicker. You're going to spend as much time. And this is going to help for API customers, non-API customers alike. Coming out soon, we've got some cool things coming out. Annotation on screen, uh, screen share. This is a highly requested product or feature that we'll be adding. A couple more that you can see in the email. And remember, you can find our, our roadmap. It's public for everyone to see. Thanks for listening. Um, I hope this all is helping making teaching easier.